Green's dirty. I do this every video. I'm so bright. Oh god, now it's too bright. Oh Jesus. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your girl, Princess Galaxy. Ooh, like my shirt. Imagination. <laughs> and today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how to actually go to a K pop concert. So, low. so I'm gonna be talking to you guys about basically how to go to a K-pop concert by yourself and I know you guys have been asking about this because I talked about a lot of my videos about how I've gone to K-pop concerts. By myself and just general concerts in general. I just said general concerts in general my mind. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips and ways to like help you out because I know it can be kind of scary and the one thing that a lot of us are concerned about the most when it comes to going to concerts by yourself is safety. So I'm gonna talk about safety, how I go to K-pop concerts by myself and just kind of like the, my hair's fucked up. <laughs> can I like fix myself, Kalishi? <laughs> oh God. And I'm gonna be talking about the things that I usually do for concerts and this is gonna be kind of just like obviously a help video, but also just kind of like a sit down and talky talk video. <laughs> talky talky talk, blah, blah, blah. If you're wondering, princess, where the fuck are you? You're not in your room. I got an apartment. Look at my beautiful apartment. Okay, so basically when it comes to going to K-pop concerts by yourself, the main thing that you're probably more concerned about than anything else isn't, you know, basic stuff like getting a light stick or merch or finding where your seat is without wanting to kill yourself, but probably safety. So let's talk about safety because obviously that is the most important, especially since, you know, a lot of us going to K-pop concerts are younger and we haven't really done a lot of this before, but don't worry, I got you. So personally, when it comes to me, I'm not really one to care about like safety all that much. And it's not that I don't care about myself, it's just for the fact that I've done this so many times, so I'm just like, okay, like, you know. But obviously, it's gonna hinder you if you feel like you're not safe. So one thing that I recommend doing, especially if you're like, I mean, aren't we all daughters or sons or, you know, children of someone? But I think a really important thing is, especially if you're like maybe under 18 or if you're like younger, like me, I'm, I'm 21. People say, people are like, oh, you're 16? No, I'm 21. So people like, when it comes to me personally, my when I used to live with my mom, which was very not too long ago, I would always let her know where I was in the city. So a lot of times I go to Chicago for concerts. And for example, last year I stayed at a hotel the night before the Blackpink concert and the night of the Blackpink concert so I can leave the next day. When it came to that, even though like I went to different places, they would turn on like my location for my phone because my phone's always on me. I always got that thing on me or you can just let someone know where you are wherever you go. And that's a little more tedious, but when it comes to being safe, I think it's really important to do that, especially like if you're constantly like anxious. It's just an extra form of being safe and just keeping like your conscience good because like for a lot of people, like this is gonna be their first time going to concerts by themselves, especially, especially like when everything comes running back up, you know, like, with like, you know, BTS coming up and like Monster X and NCT tour, a lot of us are gonna wanna be going to concerts for the first time solo. I really recommend either sending someone your location so that they can like track you. It could be like a family friend or um, a family member that you trust, like maybe your mother, your guardian, your father, your sister, brother. It could be a good friend. It could be anyone that you just trust, you know? Just to ease your mind so that like while you're doing different things maybe around the city, or even if you're, even if you're not going around a city you've never been to before, just letting like someone know in your life that like, hey, okay, like I went to this McDonald's and now like a group of us are going to here and blah, 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 you know, and now I'm at the stadium and then you can tell someone when the concert's over and then you can let them know when you get back to your hotel room or your car or something like that. It also depends upon your situation, but that is really important, letting people know where you are. Please do not underestimate that. Um, not only is it good for you, but it's also good for the conscience of people that care about you, like your mom or your, any family member, you know. For me, my mom is like handicapped, so I always do that just to give her a peace of mind. Um, I always let her know, like when I was traveling to see Super M in like five cities, 
I always let her know when I landed, when I got to the hotel, I always called her um, just like after I landed, give her some peace of mind. And um, if you have people like that in your life that like would like to know where you are or like you live with your parents or something and they care about that um that's a really important thing to do so safety is definitely number one another thing about safety is always stay in like crowds and groups now when i say stay in crowds and groups you're going by yourself it can feel really it can be really easy to feel like you're just straight up by yourself like lonely as fuck but here's the thing about concerts okay so when it comes to like making sure that you're not like in a wrong place at a wrong time it's really important to like stay with the crowd. And I know like sometimes like people can be worried about like clipping people and stuff like that, but I always recommend that you keep your important things in your front pockets. Do not keep stuff in your back pockets. People will steal from your back pockets. That's not to scare you. It's never happened to me personally, but it's good to just be safe and sorry because we're not getting clipped today. Another aspect to going to concerts by yourself that a lot of people overlook is probably your mindset. And this also goes along with your safety because you're not gonna really enjoy yourself if you feel unsafe. So that's why I said safety first and then being in crowds. And then finally, understand that everyone that's going to this concert loves the same group as you. Unless someone's gonna pay like $300 to sit there and hate BTS or like your favorite group or something. Obviously, <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. I'm sorry, I'm like sitting on, I'm like on my knees and it like kind of hurts. <laughs> God, I need to get a chair in here. We have no chairs in our apartment, so I'm kind of suffering right now. Like I said, it's really important to just acknowledge that like we're all here for the same thing. We all like the same group and there's no reason to feel like, oh my God, like what if someone's gonna make fun of my outfit? What if someone's gonna blah, blah, blah? Because more likely than not, even if someone is like there with someone else, like say they say like their parent was like, you're not going to this concert unless your sister takes you or unless I take you and like they're there with someone they don't even like really want to be there with they're looking to meet people too and to have fun as well you know what i mean like just because other people are like in a group doesn't mean that they're like super clicky like this is a time for all of us to like meet other army or xol or nct then like it's a fun time it shouldn't be anyway <laughs> It should be a fun time. Just remember that everyone is probably feeling the same as you. I mean, like, not only, like, are you going to a concert by yourself, but also people have, like, post-concert anxiety, which if you don't know what that is, <laughs> good fucky luck. Post-concert anxiety, it's just a, a term I just made up, but it's basically when, like, for me, whenever I buy a concert ticket, I'm just like, oh, the concert, <laughs> whatever, I just got this ticket. I'm like not even that excited. Like last year when I got floor seats for BTS, like I wasn't even that excited. And then like the day of, when I'm walking into the stadium, I immediately just start crying. Like, I'm like, I'm really about to see like Nam in real life. I'm about to see me in real life. Like, oh my God, they could be so close to me. And it's just like, everyone's going through that. Especially at that time, it's like a build up, like right before the concert. And then they start playing the music. Ah, oh, that sends. That sends my entire being existence, whatever you wanna call it. And another thing that I wanna talk about that's not exactly K-pop concert specific, but it's also a really important part of K-pop culture. And especially if you're like watching this for someone to go by themselves, like if you're like a parent watching this for your kid or something, this is really important. So a lot of K-pop fans, our hub is basically Twitter, right? So when it comes to like meeting people on Twitter, like, okay. So a lot of K-pop fans and even non-K-pop fans um, find mutuals on Twitter and they find out they're going to the same like um, date that they are and so they make groups and stuff and then they meet up. I did this for Blackpink and it was so fun. I love that group of girls and guys and it was just like super exciting to just meet people that you've never like met in real life before but you also like the same thing as them and so it's just like you plan on like maybe sitting together or like meeting each other afterwards and you know like it's just super fun and i think something that's really important about that is to just understand that like you can do that by yourself like that's a good way of like meeting people that you might already have experience with like talking to so that you don't feel that alone at the concert and also like if you're a parent watching this and your kid is probably like mom i want to meet um Nam June Love 22, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, it's not a super bad thing, okay? Um, one thing that I would recommend to people, just like meeting any person that you know or that you've interacted with on the internet, is to just meet them in a public space. And most, like, 
most concert groups, like group chats on Twitter, meet each other at the venue or like close to the venue. So just make sure you're not like going to someone's house because that's like hella sketch. But I mean, you can, I guess, if you like know them well enough, but that's just one tip that I recommend for you to stay safe. So stay in group, be safe, have fun, and understand that everyone is there for the same purpose as you, which is to cry over our opus. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, like the video and subscribe for more Crackhead K-pop content. I hope to see you in the next one and leave a comment if you have any questions. I love you so much and stay safe out there.